Welcome back, welcome back to another episode of HGV Talks. Uh, I missed last week because we had a... Wait, was it last week I missed? I didn't end up doing one, right? I need to double check now because I knew I was like really... I wanted to do one, but I was like, I think I ended up just skipping it. Pretty sure I did. Uh, so since the last time you guys have seen me, I uh, was away last weekend. So... For anyone who doesn't, you know, watch streams and everything or in Discord, um, my boy Jiro, longtime viewer of the channel, been around for well over a year, year and a half or so. Oh, excuse me. Um, his bachelor party was last weekend. He's getting married this summer. And his bachelor party was last weekend. And earlier in the week, I went there. It started on Thursday. And I think on Tuesday was the first time he mentioned it to me. Monday or Tuesday, he was like, hey, what you doing this weekend? Because uh, someone dropped out of my bachelor party. Someone who was supposed to be going. Something came up. Couldn't go anymore. And would you be down to go? And I was like, he kind of just threw it out, like kind of like a sarcastic. Hey, you want to just go on a bachelor party? We had someone drop out. And I was like, I was like, oh. I was like, when is it? He was like, Thursday. I was like, oh, no way. <laughs> like, There's no way I would be able to make that. But, I was like, hey, but you know, appreciate the invite, but there's just no shot I'll be able to get there on that short notice but then the next day i was streaming and he had he had said it again he's like you sure you don't want to go and i was like dude i was like i was just talking to my wife earlier about it not about the bachelor party but just about our upcoming weekend so this was on wednesday and i was like you know she had something going on friday she worked thursday no she worked thursday and friday and she had um someone she had some people coming over on saturday so we had talked about it. I was like, oh, you know, we'll try getting the house cleaned up and just get some. We just had like a lot of stuff we had to get done. Just been busy with life per usual. And we're like, yeah, let's uh get the house in order and stuff before Saturday. I know you work both days, so I'll try to, you know, stream a little bit and then try to get some stuff done and going to have a very productive couple days. So my wife came down while I was streaming. And it was like, oh, so kind of like reviewing what we were going to be doing. She was like, so just a reminder this Saturday, we got people coming over like, yeah, I just want to get like this done, this done. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm just going to go to Jiro's bachelor party instead. She's like, oh, you should go. When is it? I was like, tomorrow in North Carolina. She was like, oh, go. Why not? I was like, wait, what? <laughs> she was like, screw it. Why not? I was like, I was, we were just literally talking about all the things we had to do. So I thought you definitely wouldn't want me to even like consider it. And she was like, yeah, it'll be a fun story. Like, whatever. Why not do it? So I was like, all right. And she looked up some flights and stuff real quick. And they looked, they were cheaper than they they looked cheaper than they actually ended up being, but it wasn't. It was still like a really good deal. It was very cheap to fly. It was from Providence to Norfolk, Virginia. It was like a 55 minute flight. It was the quickest flight ever. Um. So did it. Met up with him and he was like, do it. Let's do it. So I met up with him and all his friends. Left Thursday morning at like nine in the morning. Flew to Virginia, drove down to the Outer Banks. That's where the party actually was and uh yeah met, met up with his, him and his friends and had a great weekend had some drinks played some you know beer pong some cornhole and uh you know just went out to some bars ate some really good food it was, it was a really good time uh, i came back on saturday night and my flight had gotten delayed and stuff so i didn't get home to like 1 30 in the morning or something like that on like sunday technically so that's why the podcast didn't get uploaded last week uh i wanted to I was debating on recording one when I got home. As exhausted as I was, I was debating on recording one so that I could talk about this all like right after it happened. But yeah, so that was a very uh, interesting story. It was a really good time. Um, It's definitely, you know, I had texted my mother. As soon as I decided to do it, I had to text my mother and say like, hey, could you uh like take care of the goats? Because the goats have to get put away before gets dark out and my wife was gonna be working her second shift so i was like hey would you be able to put the goats away the next two days um michelle's gonna be working and i'm going away last minute she was like oh where are you going and i'm like oh one of my viewers bachelor party she's like what <laughs> everyone i talked to like what are you doing like that sounds crazy and i'm like it is a little crazy but you know i mean jero's been around for a long time i feel like you can kind of i think i'm a pretty decent judge of character and i feel like you know, of the people that would have asked me that would actually consider it, Jiro is definitely one of them. You know, definitely not any single person who watches me said, hey, you want to fly out and go to my bachelor party this weekend? I would not say yes to many, most people probably. But, you know, Jiro's been around for a while, you know, 
done enough discord calls with them played fortnite with them and you know i feel like i've had a good enough feel for him where i was like confident in you know my judge of character and my ability to decide if it was a good idea or not you know and end up being great so but definitely a definitely a story now you know it was a really good time all his friends were really cool uh we went and played golf too i didn't golf because my shoulder was still hurt and i was really nervous about hurting it more so I was like, I'm not even going to try. I never even golfed before. So I was like, you know, not sweating it. Um, But watching them play was really cool. I've never been to a golf course and like seen anyone play. So and uh, my wife's getting into it. So my wife was golfing actually the same time we were, you know, up here with some with my. Oh, she my sister ended up bailing, but she was just with some friends. Uh, So, yeah, so golf is snuck into our life out of nowhere my wife got we went to top golf one time and my wife had fun just hitting the balls and stuff and she was like oh this is kind of fun and she was like you know thinking about what golfing is and she was like it's walking around outside and then like playing a game at the same time she was like that sounds like exactly what i want to do like a summer activity where i'm outside all day it's all she wants to do she just wants to be outside so i feel like golf is perfect for that so uh like a couple months ago she bought a used set of clubs off, you know, mark Facebook marketplace. Spent like 200 bucks on a full set with like, you know, a couple nice clubs in there and stuff. But, you know, she's really gotten into it. She's having a lot of fun with it. So I'm going to have to start getting into it myself. I've been trying to get some research done and talk to some people in the chat and get an idea of what I should be looking out for and what kind of, uh, <sighs> What kind of clubs I should be buying or whatever. Uh, we've gone to the range a couple times this week just to hit. I was testing it out to see how my shoulder would feel. And my shoulder actually felt fine. So that's exciting. I definitely still got pain in it. Um, but it feels like it's coming back. I've been trying to do like just some push-ups and some body weight workouts just to start building up some strength. But uh, yeah, it's been good. It's been good. Um trying to figure out right now what I want to focus on the most. I've been talking to my wife a lot about it. Just like, you know, what's kind of going to be my main focus at the time being. And I primarily want to focus on just my physical health. I've been trying to do this forever and ever. And like I go through spurts, but then life comes up and stuff happens and you, you know, fall off the wagon and whatnot. But uh, something I was talking about today on stream was I kind of want to try fasting. I don't know much about it. Um, I know some people do like a 24 hour fast. Like they do that every once in a while. Uh, some people do like up to like 72 hours of like just water or something like that. I don't know exactly anything about fasting. If you guys know anything about fasting, like any legit information, I'd appreciate it. Um, I probably gonna look some stuff up to it. I mean, doing like a 24 hours isn't that hard in my opinion probably i mean i've never done it but i mean i've done like 18 hours like just pretty simply you know i just decided like doing like intermittent fasting i was doing that for a little bit here and there like on and off and i've done that you know i've done 15 to 18 hours like and it didn't seem like that crazy to me i mean maybe those extra you know six to ten hours is a much, much more difficult thing. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I kind of want to just try a quick 24 hours and see how it goes. Um, I'm doing a 5K tomorrow. So I don't want to I don't want to do it like today or tomorrow. I'm not going to fast while I'm doing a 5K. Considering I don't really run like that anyway. So I don't want to make it any harder on myself. Um, but I think maybe, maybe I'll, you know, eat and enjoy mother's day and be fine on monday then maybe like my last meal on monday i'll track what time it is and i'll try to go till on sunday i'm saying sorry on sunday night whatever my last dinner is whatever from that point i'll try going till monday night i think i might try that with just water i guess coffee with you know no sugar or anything in it. um yeah you want to try it i've heard it feels really good to do once in a while not like a constant thing but you know every once in a blue moon try to do a 
quick 24 hours. I'm going to do some research over the next day or two uh, to see you know, any information I should know. And what else we got going on? What else we got going on? Uh, Soul Link. New Soul Link with Easy Mac is going to be starting up. Um, I'm actually going to download it right now. Wait, where is it? All right, here it is. I'm going to download that uh, so we can get that up. We did the starter selection. So that's we're doing Gen 5, black and white. I'm super excited for it. I love Gen 5. It's so good. It's going to be difficult for sure because there's not a lot of encounters early on. So we're going to have to... We're going to have to really get lucky. <sighs> With the starter selection and having like a good solid start and pair. I already looked at the pair, so I already know what's there. And I am not super excited to see how you guys vote. I'm going to be honest. Not super thrilled about it. Uh, I already know you guys are trolls. And uh, you, guys, you guys will see. You guys will see when it goes up what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, that's exciting. I might start another Nuzlocke of my own uh we just finished the emerald national decks nuzlocke which was cool but i think like i played it so much doing the iron mon that i kind of like wasn't super into it because i just played it so much so i kind of want to try a nuzlocke of a different game like a different generation i don't know exactly what i want to do yet um i'm gonna look through every time i am not sure what i want to do i usually go through my my playlists and see how long it's been since I've done like a certain generation. I've done Pokemon White. So as my series, starting from the most recent to oldest, it goes the Emerald National Dex, Diamond and Pearl Soul Link, the Moon Black 2 ROM hack, which wasn't a Nuzlocke, it was just a playthrough. Then the Ruby and Sapphire Soul Link. And then did the Pokemon White Gen 5 Breeze Lock. Uh, Pokemon Infinite Fusions was before that. Gold and Silver Soul Link. Uh, Gen 6 Pokemon Y Breeze Lock. And then I added Gen 5 again prior to that. Uh, Pokemon Black Breeze Lock. Then the Red and Blue Soul Link. Team Rocket Edition. Uh, and then I did Ultra Moon Iron Mon. Dude, it's been that long. Ultra... I really like uh, Gen 7. I really, really like it. And then before that was Crystal. Platinum. Platinum was only nine videos. Platinum did not go very far, huh? Maybe I could do Platinum. I haven't done Platinum in a long time. I guess. Uh, in that game, I could like put rare candies and stuff, so I don't have to grind too, too much. Uh, platinum could be a good one. I feel like I've never done like a really good Platinum playthrough on the on the channel. Uh, where's the most... Yeah, that's all. I've only done Platinum 1. No, Platinum was technically the very first one I did. But I didn't finish the playthrough. That was four years ago or something like that. And then since then, I've only done it one time. And I lost on episode 9. How far did I get in? Where did we lose? Oh, that was with Zesty. That's what Zesty came in. It was a Kyogre that beat me. It was the it was the boss battle at the top of the. Um, I'll show it kind of real quick. It was the boss battle top of the Team Galactic building. That's who it was. With uh, Jupiter. Is that her name? Oh, Stripper Andre Sus. <laughs> Got random names on this one. So that's as far as I got on my Platinum playthrough. That team was stacked, too. I had a Thick Fat Sunflora, Kabutops, Metagross, Articuno, Donphan, and a Golbat, and I lost? That's crazy. That's crazy. So I might have to run Platinum back. Might have to do it. Uh, the game runs a little slow, but I'll, uh, I'll have to figure something out. I, might, I don't know how long I'm going to wait to start that. Kind of torn between, you know, what settings and stuff I want to run. But I think Platinum might be the next one. 
Might be the next play. I have like, that's the last time I played it. That was a long time ago. It was well over a year ago, and it only went two or three badges in or something like that. So that might be the play. Might be the play. All right. Um. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, well, let me look at the last video. I think I said ask people to ask questions or something like that. Let me make sure I didn't have any. Any comments on it that I'm missing? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. Um, the only one I got was from 12. He said, if you could take a vacation, where would it be to? I'm really not sure. Um, of the vacations I've done, I've never, I haven't traveled much in my life until I was like, you know, an adult. So I didn't really go to a lot of places, but so far I've gone to Italy and Greece like for like real vacations. And I absolutely loved both of them. I like that, that just area of the world, which is mountainous and coastal and, you know, good wine and nice beaches. Like that's just so good. The Mediterranean in general to me is just best place in the world. But if I could experience something else, and I don't know, maybe like, Portugal or Spain. Maybe like the Azores of Portugal. I'm from a very heavily Portuguese, you know, area. A lot of Portuguese immigrants and stuff here. So Portuguese culture has been a huge part of my life and, you know, my family's life. So I think the Azores of Portugal would probably be my, my dream vacation next, which Mish wants to do the same thing at some point. So we'll probably do that eventually. But uh, yeah, if you guys got any other questions? Let me know uh, if you guys know anything about fasting that I should know, please inform me. If I'm planning on maybe doing it, like I said, for Monday. Um, and yeah, I got some meal prep. Actually, my meal prep's almost gone. I should probably do some more. I don't know if I'll have time to do that today. Maybe I'll do that on Monday as well. I don't know if meal prepping while fasting is a great idea. But uh, I do need to do some meal prep. I've been doing pretty good with it the last like month. So gotta get back on that so regardless thank you guys for coming through and listening to me ramble for another 15 minutes and i will see you next week like i said like comment make sure you subscribe and leave any questions you got for me